Rust Dustin. Hey, Rust Dustin. Mm -hmm. I know I've asked like hey. three times, but anyway, That's I'll reword response. it. So I can't even, <laughs> can't even hear. Okay, here we go. I have a Windows XP home computer and I'm getting a <coughs> Dell Mini 10V with Ubuntu Plus, a 320 gig external hard drive. If I put movies on my external hard drive from my XP with a VLC media player, since VLC plays everything, and if I plug the external hard drive into my Min 10V with Ubuntu, can I play movies from the external hard drive? Do I have to have VLC player or Ubuntu to play them, or can I use the VLC player that I put <coughs> on the external hard drive? Also, do I have to take the movies off the external hard drive and put onto the Dell Mini 10V in order to play them? Right. Okay, lots of questions there mm -hmm. that can kind of be coupled into a couple of answers. Mm -hmm. First of all, whether you need to copy them off of the hard drive is going to have to do with what interface you're using. <clears throat> if it's USB 1.1 on that computer, the old style USB, it's going to be too slow. It's going to be too slow and it's going to mm -hmm. get buffering. But most units these days, most computers are going to have uh, USB 2.0, which is going to be more than sufficient to be able to keep up with the, the stream of data off of that external hard drive. If you're on ESATA, on the other hand, it's screaming fast and you're golden. So it hmm. depends on your interface. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, just give it a try and, uh, and it'll, it, you know, that's the, the best you can do. So if you're not sure which kind of interface it is. Uh, other than that, copying files from Windows over to Linux and stuff, uh, sharing them on a hard drive so that you can open it. First of all, here's the thing. Windows really works fine with like NTFS hard drives formatted. So they've got to be the NT file system. If you format the drive on Linux and then move it over to your Windows box, Windows is not going to see it as a formatted drive and it's going to want to reformat it. It's just not going to work because Windows out of the box cannot read or write Linux hard drives. So what you need to do is have it formatted on the Windows file system because Linux, on the other hand, can read pretty much anything and write to pretty much anything. So if mm. it's an NTFS drive, be it that, you know, even though that's a Windows file system format, Linux is able to read and write to that file system. So you want to have it that way. So that's the first step. Once you transfer movies from your Windows box onto the external hard drive formatted NTFS, now you can put that into your, you can plug that into your Linux system and you're going to be able to read the files just fine. But you might need to install Codex, which may or may not be legal uh, where you are. You can get a hold of Perfect Ubuntu on our website, category5.tv. That really simplifies the process of installing these kinds of drivers. Uh, and that will just make it so that you can play like you know, your, your video files and your movie files and audio files and things like that. Those are the codecs. Those are the things that, that are able to decode the uh, compressed information in those video files. So uh, as long as you have that installed, you should be able just to connect to that device, and it doesn't matter what you're playing it with. You can just double-click on it. It's going to load it out of the box uh, under Totem if you're using Ubuntu, and it should play just fine. No problems at all. Mm. Was that kind of the sum of your, your questions there? Shouldn't really have any trouble, but you need those codecs. That's the primary thing.